morning, everybody. So this morning we are going to do um, a ghost pour. Get the door closed. So this was inspired by Miss Julie Cutts at Pouring Your Heart Out. Um, so we are going to see, I've never done one of these before, so this is my first ghost pour. And we are going to be using, um, of course, all deco art paints and our deco art pouring medium. So for all of these colors, so we are going to go over the colors and our mixture ratios. As always, I'll give you a couple of seconds to get anything that you need to write with. Um, this is a 12 by 36 Artist Loft Level 1 canvas. I love these canvases, and they're so hard to get sometimes. Um, they're not always in stock. I get my canvases at Michael's. Okay, we are going to go over the colors. So the canvas was prepped with our Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black. That is also the color. That is going to be our flood color. That is 12 ounces of pouring medium and 3 ounces of paint. This one's going to be a lot thinner than these. And these are going to be our swipe colors. Um, our other color, we've got the Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living Ladybug. One ounce of pouring medium, one ounce of paint. The Deco Art Americana Primary Blue. One ounce of pouring medium, one ounce of paint. The Deco Art Matte Metallics Ivory Pearl. This one's a little bit different. One ounce of pouring medium and only 0.7 ounces of paint because this is so much thicker. We have to put less paint. And then our last color is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Copper. Same thing as our Ivory Pearl. One ounce of pouring medium, 0.7 ounces of paint. And we are using the Deco Art Pouring Medium. Um, you can get the Deco Art Pouring Medium, of course, online at uh, decoart.com. I believe I also put a link down in the description to get it on Amazon. Um, it is also carried at Hobby Lobby, carries it. And I think I've been seeing small bottles at Michael's. So multiple places that you can pick it up at or purchase it from. To use for our swipe, I just have some cardstock here that I cut up. Oops. Um, so we will see how these work. Uh, that is all different sizes of strips. Um, the other side is actually, um, this was some mixture ratio stuff. Or some, I think some canvas size and oh, how much ounces you need in my, um, my ounces were off. So I don't need these, so we're going to cut them up and use them as our swipe. So we are going to flood the canvas, get a nice even coat, and then put thin strips going this way of the paint. And then we're going to kind of swipe them and, and see what happens. Again, I've never done one of these before, so we are going to learn together. All right, let's go ahead and get started.
this up, you're going to put a little drop right there. I'm going to use a small one. And you're going to do that. And let's pull that down. I think that helped. That helped some. All right. All right. All I'm doing is trying to break up some of those straight lines and kind of blending it a little more so you don't have a straight line going down. But all right, I guess we are going to leave it just like that. Uh, thank you very much for watching down in the description all of the paint colors used as well as the mixture ratios. Uh, part two, we are gonna come back and we will seal this. I know we're not going to put a, a vinyl on it, but um, I might have a different canvas that we can put a vinyl on and I can show you how to do that. So again, down in the description, all of the paint colors used as well as links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in part two and as always, God bless.